Greetings everyone, BJ Weiler back with you for another adventure in Euro Truck Simulator 2 for Simulating Reality. Picking up where we left off uh, in our last episode, on our way home to Luxembourg, uh, we are now in Metz, so we're just a stone's throw away, our home base right up the road here, and uh, finally, finally, after a few days, uh, we finally got some jobs in Luxembourg and wasn't exactly sure what was going to happen in this episode because there's nothing in the freight market that takes us to Luxembourg from, uh, from Metz, Reims, or Strasbourg at all. But fortunately, with the online contracts, world truck contracts, they constantly change over and we finally have two jobs, uh, as a matter of fact, heading to Luxembourg, so... I think what we're going to do, we're going to take this one from uh, Street. Um, so it pays the most. Uh, 300 more euro. A little bit of extra time to head back outside of Metz to pick it up and travel. But it works. So we're going to take some wood bark to Luxembourg. All right. So let's go ahead and begin that delivery. We got 17 hours to get it done, so plenty of time. Oh, I know you don't like when I tab out of the game. Oh, well. Let's rock and roll it here. All right. Uh, let's see here. I think... Yeah, I guess... Um, hmm. Guess we should be fine on rests. We may be fine on... Let's... Um, F7, F, yeah, no messages. Uh, F6, four hours to rest. Uh, let's see where we're at here. Uh, half an hour to get there, an hour to get to Luxembourg. Yeah, we got, we got plenty of time then. No worries. Oh, parking brake. Let's disengage the parking brake. Thank you. Are our lights on? They are now. Now they're off. 11 o'clock in the morning, so I don't think we have to worry about lights. The 1.31 should be out uh, fairly shortly, if it's not out already, by the time I uh, upload this video to YouTube. I'll bring uh, a few changes to the game. We'll have our uh, cables. How exciting. Cables that we'll practically never see uh, while we're driving here. Um, in ATS, we'll have, uh, oh, we'll have new special transport routes here. That's what we'll have. Some new special transport routes. I don't think there's any new cargo, but we will have uh, new routes. Which hopefully means uh, we will finally be able to get the service boat. So I think the service boat might spawn in uh, uh, more than just the uh, uh, Brussels uh, to Amsterdam route. Oh, why am I hitting the brake? I want to go. So we'll see. So hopefully uh, in our next video or two coming up, we'll finally be able to finish off our special transport jobs by taking that service bit. We'll see. One thing I did notice, which I'll probably mention again, 
when we finally do get the service boat is that um, when you take those special transport jobs uh, it fast forwards time uh, a bit because um, it resets your rest break if you need any rest it also um, gives you uh, fills up your tank uh, for your own truck um, if you have your if you're taking your own truck on that uh, or accept the job with your own truck it'll fill up your tanks and uh, reset your rest uh, which uh, even if I noticed even if you have a full tank already uh, it still acts like it, it took your truck to the gas station and brought it back so time uh, forwards on a little bit so uh, all the special transport jobs that we take from now on uh, are going to be quick jobs uh, so we don't lose time unnecessarily plus it'll make it easier I don't actually have to drive my own truck to those cities I'll just be able to uh, essentially take the jobs at will that I want to take and not have to worry about losing uh, time otherwise because I always fill up and make sure I'm fully rested anyway, but uh, apparently it doesn't matter. That's nice that uh, we finally get a job to Luxembourg here. It was uh, kind of figuring we'd have to bobtail back, and that'd make for a kind of a short episode. He gets back here on the other side. Somebody really needs to clean up this lumber yard. I I would find it hard to believe that a uh, lumber yard would be in such a state. Have lumber just scattered about on the grounds here. Somebody ought to clean that up. I mean, sort of makes it look lived in, but um, oh, we're still coupling. Thank you. Um, in terms of, well, is this reality? Yeah, I don't think so. Somebody would at least be out here uh, cleaning up that uh, bit of a mess here. At least the random or random boards. They just uh, they don't make sense to be just plopped out like that. Now there is a, uh, a mulch um, yard uh, very, fairly close to where I live, right off our main highway here. Um, big, big piles of mulch that apparently they, they burn or something, I guess, to get the, the look or something to it. Uh, as I know, the one year, um, there was a lot of smoke that was drifting across the highway. Uh, and in fact, they, they had to have police cars out on the highway to help traffic get past. The smoke was so bad. But even in, in the rain and during the winter, um, they have these piles. Uh, and they're always smoking in piles. You can always see some smoke coming off those piles. This is a rather short trailer, so... I should be okay with this. But yeah, I don't see... Um, I mean, they mainly do mulch. I, I gotta look again and look a little bit more closely. I don't see them doing a lot of just general lumber. That's actually a... a uh, I don't know what exactly you would call a business, a builder, you know, they, they build houses. Um, that's even a little bit closer uh, in, in town itself. But, you know, neither one I see with, you know, just random boards scattered across the yard. Like we have in Street It, Street It, or Street It. However you pronounce that here in the game. But 
but uh, in fact at my local uh, Lowe's which is, is uh, sort of a, a big box hardware store uh, we have some uh, pine bark mulch we picked up recently for our yard our walking pathway so that could very well perhaps be what I'm hauling right now something similar On our way back home to Luxembourg. Ninety now stops. Oh, no, for okay, so it's you guys can go faster. I cannot. So let's just set our cruise right about there. I didn't look at the tonnage of this thing, but it doesn't seem to be very heavy. I'm holding this with no problem whatsoever I get up to speed fairly sim uh, easily yep we're getting off here we're going this way oh dear oh dear oh dear there we go I think I do want to be breaking here anyway Speed. Well, I think maybe I should shift over. There we go. Alright, once we get back home here, uh, we can transfer ourselves back into the Luxembourg garage. We'll check on uh, we'll check on the rest of the company here. See where things lay, and then uh, sort of plan out where our next venture is gonna be here, I think. Because we will have some uh, new territory opening up very shortly that we can uh, look to us expand into. But I really do, I really do want to get up into uh, Great Britain beforehand, establish a foothold in there get that part of the business up and running and then we can look towards uh, Scandinavia and the Baltic after that I hope I'm not speeding here uh, it looks like it's still 90 we're going to be taking this exit though anyway do 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 I think very shortly um, I'm going to be looking to get that garage in uh, Met uh, that I can fully upgrade to a, a five truck garage and uh, start getting some uh, ooh, sh <laughs> wow lucky there I didn't get fined or hit that guy Yeah, it was lucky. I just got just got into the intersection. I think just in time to avoid the fine. But yeah, uh, I think at this point in the company, we'll have enough money to where I can start uh, just start relaxing and, and playing around and. Let our hires uh, start uh, being the main source of income here. 
way I can uh, work on uh, rounding out our uh, truck fleet with the uh, with the brand of truck we do not yet own. Uh, we still need Scania. We still need Renault. We still need the MAN and the DAF. I think that's it. Yep, LKW. I sort of suspected that's where we were going. I didn't really look to see where the what particular destination the business was. It always seems to be LKW. More often than not. Boop. Alright, let's see where we're at. Let's go ahead and take this guy. This should be fairly simple. Let's go ahead and send out the drone. A yeah, very short trailer here. Ooh, watch our speed back in there. Quite a bit of difference between uh, ETS 2 and uh, the original ETS here, uh, with how they how they reverse when you're uh, parking here. This seems more more natural and realistic here in ETS two. ETS one is just there is absolutely no drift like we have here. It just stops dead when you release the accelerator. Mm, we're, gonna, we're a little off there, but. If they're okay with that, I'm okay with that. So let's go ahead and drop this guy, get paid, and head uh, right to our garage. Excellent. Not a bad little bump there. Good enough. Gets us where we want to be. That's the important thing. It gets us back home here. Alright, let's just go ahead and drive back to Luxembourg here. We are free as the wind indeed. In time for lunch. Back in the garage, grab a quick bite as we're checking up on our employees. That's really the direction you need to worry about, so. I'm so used to just checking both, both ways anyway. Safe driver. I get my safe driver bonus check. For you who don't know, for those of you who are not familiar with, that's, uh, that's an all state, for, uh, all state thing. All state is an insurance company here in the United States. And if you remain accident free for a certain period of time, uh, they give you some money back. Which is, was actually not uh, their original, uh, not uh, an original idea to them. Um, ooh, I am getting tired, so I think we will rest in our garage too. I'm starting to get tired. But, um, yeah, I, uh, Um, an insurance company we have uh, called NJM, New Jersey Manufacturers Insurance. Um, they've been in insurance for, for many, many, many years. Um, actually, you know what? I, wanna, uh, I don't need this. 
I don't need to park there. I want to park where I can rest here. Um, they were one of the first, I think, insurance companies to do that to where uh, they would give you a, uh, a check at the end of the year if you um, didn't have any uh, accidents. Or, wow, I got to be sticking out of the garage for that. I almost want to come in on the other side. That's all right, though. Uh, engine off. And uh, we're good. So let's just, we won't rest quite yet, but we'll just do this. <laughs> So I've been with them uh, for quite a few years, and it's always nice to get a little bit of money back uh, from them at the end of the year. Uh, all right, so we're good. Let's uh, let's check out our company manager here. Uh, let's check out the driver, see where everybody's at. There's me. Let's see how Boris is doing. Uh, Boris up to 5,500 a day. Uh, we got him leveling up fragile cargo. Uh, yeah, which is fine. I think I'm okay with that. <laughs> Still driving our original Mercedes there. Uh, just there, you can find it. Ooh, he had a nice payday there. 7100 for medical equipment. That was fragile. Uh, where is he at right now? So that was kind of out to Rome. So he's heading out to... Toronto with some potatoes. Martina. Martina's actually uh, kicking it here. 6,500 um, a day she's making. We also have her leveling up fragile, which is good. Uh, she's got some flowers uh, heading back to Rome. Excellent. Yes, uh, same day, yeah. The same day that Boris couldn't find a job. Yeah, she, her last three jobs have really kicked it here. It's just uh, right in here. Day 48 and 49 are some low pay days. Again, medical equipment. She's got ADR, so she can take some explosives. That was a nice payday. But yeah, she's had some nice uh, fragile deliveries too. So once we bump them up a little bit more in fragile and high value, that's really gonna that's really gonna bump up their paydays. Martin here, one of our newer ones. He was our ace in our uh, we hired for our Limoges garage. Uh, he's doing in good shape, so we got him leveling fragile too. So he's just starting to earn money now. So there's uh, both him and Stella are gonna be low for now. Uh, let's see what we got here. So far, so good. Had any issues finding jobs? There's nothing that's a big payday at this point. But uh, once we get them fragile and high value leveled up a little bit more, we should be they should be bringing in stuff. But really, let's see. Uh, yeah, they've only been working for a couple days anyway, so. Stella, Stella's actually kicking it here too. So we, we, our ladies are really kicking it in the gear here. Ah, look at that, she's taking flowers too. Uh, heading back to Limoges from Toulouse. So yeah, we got her uh, leveling up high value. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna unlock high value for her. Then we're gonna give her just in time. We'll let her level up uh, both ticks here in just in time and then get her back to high value for a bit. Uh, she's been doing good, yeah. So she, yeah, she's had a couple of nice paydays here. To Le Mans and back. To Toulouse was good. So this, one, this one might pay pretty nice too. So hopefully she'll level up after this job. That would be that would be extremely nice. Uh, get her to level up. So good. Everybody's uh, everybody's on point right now. It's pretty good. Let's see. Uh, let's see how our garages are doing. Oh yes. Oh yes. I know. I know. I know. I've got to. I've got to transfer myself over and get a job. Uh, Limoges. We are at. Uh, we were at 100%. We're down to. Yeah, after drivers pay us, so we're down to 77%. Mm. Rome. Uh, yeah, we're almost double right now, so Rome should be good. So, uh, yeah, so we're gonna have to. I might have to t 
take a, a, a nice high paying emojis job first. Um, just to bump up, just to bump up our payday there. To see if we can get 100%. Let's see what uh, what day of the week is it? Wednesday. Might do that then. Uh, let's see. Freight market. Maybe yeah, we could always even take a quick job too. That way I don't have to worry about moving my truck and keep my truck parked here. Uh, price per distance. Let's see what kind of paydays we got here. Uh, out of Luxembourg, please. Uh, wow. These things pay like nothing. I mean, price per distance is pretty high, but the overall payday not too low. Oh, look at that. We can take a yacht. That's a fair trip, Mom. So where's Limoges? Toulouse. So she's coming back from Toulouse. Hmm. Be nice to take the yacht. But I might end up uh, just having to take some special. Uh, See, these things are paying pretty well, but the overall pay uh, isn't great. So I may take some quick jobs. I may take uh, some of these hauls as quick jobs here. Um, I probably won't do videos for them because I already did the Luxembourg route, and I want to save the Brussels route until we can find the uh, get the. Um, ship running so I might just run these in between videos here and see what I can't get to unlock let's see what else do we have this by let's see what's coming out of Metz here Metz to Livorno that'll take us back to Italy and we do have a lot of towns in Italy to unlock this job is 979 kilometers Hmm. What a uh, urgent job too. Well, we'll have to think about. It. We'll have to see what comes up. Maybe even take an external contract again and see what that pays. What I did want to do is go back here in the options because I did make an adjustment to the preferred job length. So hopefully something from uh, uh, from Metz to Luxembourg and it did so we're good there so let's go ahead and set that back to medium right in the middle there that way we get a nice average of short and long length jobs and uh, I think we're good here I think we can call this an episode and uh, we'll see what comes up next uh, for next episode in the meantime thanks for watching everybody this is BJ Waller saying until next time I will see you in game and on the roads <laughs>